Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. So guys, I have some interviews to conduct. And instead of sending a blah email saying, good morning, da -da -da, you have been invited to an interview, et cetera, et cetera. I decided to create a slide open envelope animation in PowerPoint in order to invite these individuals. Here is a preview of it. That's the front of the envelope. And uh, now you're at the back of the envelope. Time to open it. Invitation pops up and brought to the front so that the invitee can see all the information that is on the invitation. I know that you're wowed by this. And uh, what I've decided to do is to just show you how to get this done from scratch. What I'm going to do first, guys, is to get a background photo for the invitation. So in Google, I've typed invitation background. I want royal blue. And this is my choice. I'm gonna right click on the image, copy image, then on a blank PowerPoint, I am going to paste that image. Now that I have the image paste, this is what I'll be using as my background for the invitation. But what I'm going to do now is to make a duplicate of this image by pressing Control D to get that duplicate. I've been done that. I am going to crop this because I want the middle portion to be the background of the envelope, the inside of the envelope. So I'm going to crop this. Now that I have that crop, I can then begin creating the envelope. So in a different PowerPoint, here I have a blank slide and uh, I've already added the background to that. You can decide what color background you want. Do you want gradient fill? Whatever you want with your background, you can do that. So what I'm gonna do first is to ensure that I activate guides because I want to ensure that the item is uh, fully aligned on each side. I've been activated guys. I'm going to go to insert shapes and I'll be selecting the rectangle. Once you have the plus sign, just left click on your mouse, hold that down and drag the cursor across the screen until you get the size uh, rectangle that you want. Now that I have the rectangle, I am going to select no shape outline because I don't want any outline. Then I'm, I'm going to open up the format shape panel and go to fill. And I want picture or texture fill because I'm going to select um, fill with picture. No, that's not the background that I want. I am going to choose the one from that that I've downloaded earlier. And uh, I'll be selecting this one because this is the one that I want for the inside of the envelope. So I'm going to right click on that, copy. You could copy as well using Control C. Then I'm going to go back to my working envelope that I'm creating. And on the format picture panel, I'm going to select clipboard because it is already copied. And there it is filled. And, uh, because I don't want this white space to be shown, I am going to select the image, go to format, and I'm going to crop off this white edge that is visible there. And that is done. So what I'm gonna do is to select the rectangle, go to format, align, center, align, middle, because I want to ensure that when I create the flops, which I'm going to do soon, they are in line. 
Next, I'm going to create the flaps. I'm going to go to insert shapes, select triangle. Again, left click on your mouse, press on that, drag your cursor across the slide until you get the size rectangle that you want. Then I am going to rotate this right, then drag to fit the rectangle, the edges of the rectangle. So if it is that it doesn't fit, then all you have to do is to pull down to the, pull down to get the height or pull up. And for the width, I'm going to pull across to get the width. Now that I have that side created, I'm going to duplicate Control D to get the other side. And then I am going to flip horizontal, pull across. That is okay right there. Then I need to create three other flaps. So I'm going to Control D to duplicate, rotate 90 degrees right there, pull across. Enter that. So now I'm going to drag across to create the width. Ensure it is in line with the edge of the rectangle. This is 2i, so I'm going to pull it down until I get it in line with the. Right, that's good. Just a little bit above the the left and the right flaps that were created. Now I need to get another copy of this to the top. So I'm going to control D to duplicate and uh, pull it up. Then I'm going to rotate to get the size that I want to so flip horizontal. And then I'm going to put that in line. And now we have the closed envelope created right there. Now you can change the colors if you want. Now I'm going to create the change of colors for the left side right there. So I want that color is good. I'm going to give it a little outline right there. And that's the very same thing I'm going to do for the left as well, fill, outline, then that side can be that color for the outline and uh, want to give it a different color right there. Yes, that color is good. Fill with that color down the bottom as well and the shape outline, give it that color. Now that I have the closed envelope created, I need to create a flap up the top to indicate when it is open so you'll see that effect. So I need to move this down to the bottom. I'm going to Control A to select everything. Then I'm going to Control G to group that. Now that it is grouped, I can pull everything down to the bottom. Or what I could have done is to select the image go to format align and select align bottom and it will take it down to the bottom of the slide now i'm going to ungroup by selecting the image go to group ungroup and then i want to copy this i'm going to copy that one for the top in fact i'm going to use the bottom one because it will just um give me that effect that i want so control D and then I'm going to drag it up to the top and ensure that it is in line with the closed envelope that was created. Now that is done, what I'll be doing is to fill with a different color so that you can see the effect of the envelope. So I'm going to try to select a lighter color. I think that one will work. To give the variation yes it does and uh, just to give you a peek of what the envelope looks like there you go right so i'm going to add some animation to that so what i'll be doing is to select that flop 
and go to animation, open animation pane. And the animation that I want to use, is, I'm going to go to more exit effects and select collapse, okay? And I want it to collapse upward and that is the effect. Having done that, I am going to select the top flap right there, which would have been the part that's open upright when the envelope is open. I'm going to animate that now. So that I'll be using an entrance effect for that. So go to more entrance and select stretch. So I'm looking for stretch, select stretch and select OK. The, I am now going to edit the effect. So go to effect option and stretch from bottom. I want this one to start directly after the previous. So I'm going to go to the animation pane from the drop down arrow. I'm going to select start after previous. Just to give you a little preview before we go any further, go to slideshow there. On the click, envelope is open. Okay, so let's go back to the preparation there. So now that we have the envelope done, the next thing that I'm going to do is to create that invitation that will be placed inside the envelope. So go to insert, and what I want is a rectangle. And uh, I am going to create that rectangle. I am going to pull it over to the envelope and stretch across until I get the size that I really want. And uh, there it is, right there. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I don't want that color. So definitely I am going to go to format, select uh, no shape outline because I don't want any outline for that and I want it to fill. So I'm going to open up the format shape panel, closing the animation pane panel there. And I want it to be picture fill. That's not the one that I want. I'm going to go to the previous PowerPoint that was created with the template, copy this image, and then go back to the working presentation there. And on the format picture panel, I'm going to select clipboard. And there I have the picture filled in the rectangle that I have created. So I'm seeing a white spot right there. I don't want that white spot. So I'm going to select this image, go to format, go to crop, and I'm going to try to get rid of that white Spot. Yes, that is gone. Now that I have that, I'm going to insert text box because I want to get the information on the invitation. And uh, I'm going to change the color of the text to yellow. That's the color that I'm going to use. Change the font to Ariel rounded, and uh, I'm going to type your invited. That's a bit too small, so I'm going to make it increase the size, bold. Then I know that I have all the information on the invitation. I need everything to be grouped on that one invitation. So what I'll be doing, I want it to be grouped in one. So I will be selecting each item. So select that text box there. And by doing that, I'm holding down on the control key to ensure that I select every item that I want. I'm gonna click on the image, click that image, click that text box and I'm going to click that image that is added there 
and I'm going to control G to group. Everything is now one. See, I can move it anywhere and everything goes together. Now that I have that, I can now animate it. So I'll be animating the invitation there and I want it to pop out of the envelope. So I am going to select that, go to animation, open animation pane, and I want an entrance. So I'm going to go to more entrance and I want that to be stretched. So I'm selecting stretch, okay. Then I'm going to go to effects and I want it to be stretched from bottom. So I'm going to select from bottom. Now I want this to work after previous. So I'm going to select the drop down arrow and select off start after previous. I want it to have that effect of coming out of the envelope. So I'm going to select the image and go to format and I'm going to send it to back. Okay, the top one, I want it to be behind the invitation, that flap to be behind the invitation because the reality is when the envelope is open, you're going to see that flap behind the paper that you're pulling out or the invitation that you're pulling out of the envelope. So therefore, I'm going to select that, go to format and send that flap to the back. So send backward. So select that until it goes behind the invitation. Now, let's take a look at what is that mean right there now. Okay, now what does that mean is that we're not seeing all the information. If it's just a little card and just a little information to be presented, then that is it. Your envelope opens up. Your envelope opens up and the, the information pops out on the invitation, on the card, whatever it is, because you could use this effect for a card as well. Now, for this invitation, there's more information that we need that is that should be visible on the card because notice you're not seeing where the, you're not seeing the venue basically. So therefore I'm going to exit this and I'm going to do something else. I am going to bring this up a bit, select the image, select the image and uh, pull it up a bit right there, right? And uh, what I am going to do next is to ensure that this image is in front of everything. So I'm going to go to format because the effect that I'll be giving it is that upon opening the envelope, the invitation pops out, then I'm going to give it that effect where you pull it down and put it in front of the, the envelope and you can see everything. So I'm going to ensure that this is to the front of everything. So I'm gonna to go to format and I am going to select bring to front. I'm gonna click it enough time until I believe it is in front of everything. That's the effect of what we have so far. Open up, it pops up, but you're still not seeing everything. So the other thing that I'm gonna do now is to add that motion path animation that will pull it down so you can see everything on the screen, everything on the invitation there. So I'm gonna exit the slideshow and then I'll be adding the animation to that one. So select the animation, go to add animation and I'm gonna search for motion path. I'm using the lines and I want the motion path to be down. So let's double check on the effect there. You can change your motion path to where you want it to be. You can go left if you want. You can, can go right with your motion path. You can go up, but what I want is for it to go down. So I'm selecting that. Now, having done that, 
I want to ensure that it comes directly in front of the bottom of the envelope until we can see everything. So I'm gonna select the animation. Having selected that, there is this red dot that you will see. There's a green one and the red one. I'm, I'm selecting the red one. And now that I have that two-way arrow, I'm going to select on that, left click on it, hold it down, and I'm going to pull until I see the reflection on the image to where I want it to be. Yes, it sits at the bottom now, and I'm going to release that. I want it to happen after previous, start after previous, so I select that, and here we go with our preview opens up, it pops up, and it is pulled down in front of the envelope. Isn't that wonderful? Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.